All right. Hello, everyone. My name is River. Welcome to the Nemeton. Uh, as I've been coming back to throw out a few videos for y'all, I, uh, I had made some assurances to someone that I'm rather close to that I would one day review this video of theirs. This is an animation. It's a, an occultly oriented animation, and it's quite good. The means by which this is set up, uh, as in the way that I'm actually doing the recording process, is not uh, particularly what you might be expecting, but this is the most convenient way for me to go about you know, providing some general audio and also showing it to you. We're going to run through it piece by piece, and when I see something that catches my attention, I'm unfortunately going to pause it, which might drive you a little nuts, but just be ready for that fact. I will say outright, there's nothing particularly striking about the opening scene other than the fact that we are looking at the Blue Rose Bodega. And you may think a little bit about a Blue Rose in terms of some esoteric relation. Also a personal relation, right? Uh, you will notice uh, in time. So right out the gate, we have all these cute little, uh, it, it, I like to call it this triangle obsession. If you notice, literally everything seems to be oriented around triangles, uh, which we all know is kind of like the, the joke, the butt of the joke of all occult symbolism is that we are obsessed with triangular form. Uh, it, you, if you check out over here on the right, we have our, our Illuminachos. Our, uh, our flat cones, our sandwiches are also cut into two dual-esque triangles. Antonio's pizza, double triangle, more triangles. All the chips, otherwise being what look obviously like Doritos, are triangles. Uh, Tri-cut <laughs> biscuits, like, I don't know, it's just kind of cute to me. But th those little details are going to stand out. And there is something about these chips that I want you to notice later. If you look at the coloration of those chips, notice that things will be different. All right, immediately all of our chips have swapped over to the same particular color, which is uh, roughly more of a sickly green, and the context and language that has been provided is incorporating some general esoteric symbolism, and by general I simply mean like uh, up front in your face, majorly appearing astrological. Uh, you can see that we have a couple of Taurian things, a little bit of Pisces in there, some lunar stuff. Uh, may not be the intention of the author, but that's what I picked up on. Uh, we have the wheel center cut for the triangle. That's kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. Fuck. Yo, Watts, are you there? You got to check this out. So, as far as I understand it, this is the author's magical um, alternate personality, right? So this this particular character is the uh, the alternate magical personality of the the actual person who made this this clip. Yeah, when I do that, that means you know don't. <laughs> Daddy Crowley. So this is what I'd like to call the thelemic infection. <laughs> I think that's all it needs to be said. All right. 
okay, so I, I never noticed exactly what was on that TV before, and now it confirmed a suspicion that I had that's about to show up. For those who did not see who was on that TV screen, that was Israel Regardi. Which, that is going to also be Israel Regardi in animated form. I don't know why everyone's such a hater. So, my, my interpretation of this is through the presentation of Thelema, which felt more like an infection to the actual author of the video. Uh, it led them to maybe a particular respect or understanding of Israel Regardi and maybe Rigardi uh, played a role in developing out of their general experiences with Thelema, or at least the philosophy of Thelema. I thought the live-action cow bop was good. I mean, it was good. <laughs> really? Hmm. <sighs> okay, so that was strange. So my suspicion was that the guy in the military outfit was Rigardi, but now I have this strange conception as if there's this uh, counterpart mentality associated with her, either her beliefs about him or either uh, something that was come across in terms of information that was felt as if cr created this alter ego for Rigardi that she otherwise didn't expect. Or, or... This is another character entirely that's being presented. This this provision of vodka and smoking, and uh, we can see the death mask and this kind of uh, aggressive behavior that's, that's really unsettling, to be honest with you. It's depicted very, very well. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can show this on YouTube anymore. <laughs> All right. You didn't know you can customize a. Okay, so the magical alter ego is pulling her out of a body of water in this, what appears to be a sacred grove. Um. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How? It's simple! You just gotta... <laughs> That's really cute. I like how he uh, forcibly sprouts a tree from his mind. In, in an interesting way, this is kind of a metaphor for like how we conceptualize things spiritually. I'm sure the author has a different intention, uh, because I did ask a little bit about the deer, but that's actually really cool. I don't know why. Like, I, I think it flashes colors, too. Yeah. I've been doing this once a month or so for self-care. Back into the water on the other side. There's the Crowley music again. Ooh, the door. So what's kind of interesting is conceptually we've gone from a mundane uh, convenience store through a variety of spiritual experiences and meeting of different characters into a garden uh, or a, a, a paradiso, paradiso, I don't know, whatever, 
can't talk right now. It's kind of early. Uh, back down, deep into the water, back to a door, and I'm going to suspect that it's uh, going to go back down into reality, right? So it, it starts up, it runs up to the top, is smelled, as it said, uh, Kabbalistically, like the words are smelled, and it comes back down. Coming and going, right? Uh, Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, called it. What does she buy? Eat me desert cake. <laughs> dessert cake. <laughs> I like that face. Very cool. I think the piece as a whole is absolutely amazing. And I feel like it deserves a lot of a lot of attention. And I hope that you guys go and check it out in full without my breaks and maybe create your own ideas. Maybe throw your ideas uh, like in their comment section or something just to see how it's going. Uh, I'll be sure to have a link to the video in the description, to the original video in the description, just so you can see it. Um, some awesome. You know what I just noticed? This little guy right here is from some animated projects they work on turned into an ice cream cone. That's pretty cute. Uh, wow. Wow. All right, well, I'm going to get this crazy bug. There it is.